Vincent Fink here, driving to the studio. Been busy as hell lately and just haven't been able to make the time to do a proper podcast, so this quick update will have to do. Um, lots of good things happening, lots of changes in life, uh, but uh, forthcoming is Pi Day, March 14th, if you weren't aware. Uh, we like to celebrate that day with a uh, get-together at the studio, so I'll be doing that uh, coming up on March 14th, 3.14, and we're going to be uh, discussing Pi. We'll do a podcast there, so that's probably going to be the, the first uh, official podcast uh, of March, uh, unless I manage to squeeze one in before then. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. It'll also be the, the uh, technically the grand reopening, the formal reopening of my studio. It used to be B8, now B120 at Winter Street Studios in the Sawyer Yards complex of art studios in Houston, Texas. So if you're going to be around, that would be a wonderful time for us to meet in person. And uh, again, we'll be definitely talking about Pi and uh, the state of the arts, the state of science, and, uh, and how that all coalesces together. But uh, we'll also be doing other things soon. Uh, I turned 40 on April 1st, so um, I'm a bit frightened by that. And uh, I want to try to make the best of it, though. It's a Monday, so the Saturday before, we'll be meeting at the studio again. Uh, for a, a little collector, friends, uh, supporters, everyone kind of just come out and meet up, uh, and, uh, and we'll do that for a little bit, and then I'll get out into the night with my friends, and we will do something else fun, like in a bar with some karaoke and some eats or something like that. So that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, turning 40 is crazy. Um, definitely has me moving into a midlife crisis kind of state um, in the attempt to make sure that my future is secure I have been uh, running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to do all things uh, and, uh, and also trying to figure out what I can eliminate and be more focused uh, essentially just working on art is the main focus uh, I do have a solo show coming up uh, in July at Blowback Gallery in conjunction with their Truth Art Show, which uh, which is a big deal for them and for me. Big deal for them because their Truth Art Show is just amazing, but a big deal for me because I haven't done a, a solo show in like seven years or something. Uh, so it's been a minute. It's time to finally start kind of doing that kind of thing again. Uh, also, of course, I have artworks and several group shows at Modern Eden Gallery in San Francisco, so that's been uh, taking a lot of my bandwidth, trying to make sure that I don't uh, fail on my deliveries, and I uh, got my pieces out to them, so definitely check out their website if you're interested to see what they have in my uh, available stock in their inventory. And uh, their next show, Precious Metals, starts on, um, I think it's March 7th? I know that's the end of the uh, the show that's currently showing that I have a piece in uh, their Year of the Dragon show. Um, I forget the exact date that the uh, next one opens. It's probably the following week, though. So uh, definitely check out their website, moderneating.com, if you want to learn more about that. Of course, if you want to know more about the shows that I was mentioning that I'm in, uh, you know, my studio and all that kind of stuff, the Pi Day celebration. Go to vincentfink.com and subscribe to the newsletter, and uh, you'll be getting updates about that kind of stuff. Um, so that's about it as far as the major announcements. Oh yeah, and also again, so about the uh, turning 40 thing, it's a little crazy for me. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing and that I'm not slacking. And you know, sometimes this art lifestyle I built. Um, seems like maybe, you know, good enough is a, is a terrible state to be in, because uh, it's not like, you know, achieving a big goal, but it's like good enough to where you're uh, 
just secure enough, I guess, to where you're, uh, <laughs> you're not on the bread line, right? But, uh, things, I, I, I just really want to do better, you know? I've, I've always had great ambition in life, you know, my, any of my, uh, long time, lifelong friends know that I've always been the super ambitious person, I guess you kind of have to be to be, uh, living off, uh, your, your entrepreneurial skills for over a decade, but, uh, looking back on that decade and kind of seeing where I'm at, turning 40, it kind of just, you know, kind of makes you think. And um, I just want to make great contributions to the world. I want to do something that makes a difference. I also want to make sure that I am taking care of myself in the long run because I don't want to end up out on the streets or not able to, to provide for my family. I've always wanted to make uh, more income so I could enhance the lives of those around me. You know, you can't really help others until you help yourself first. You have to be in that kind of state to where you're able to help others. So that's uh, that's what I'm working towards, is thriving and doing better. And, uh, well, long story short, too late, I, uh, I took the ASVAB test. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about joining the military. Um, Air Force kind of has my attention mainly because uh, it's the way into Space Force. Um, if I could just jump right into Space Force, I will. And I'm going to explore that option. Uh, I'm going to explore all the options. Maybe just getting into uh, National Guard or Reserves. Maybe one of those options might be a little more viable for a person like me who's already got a lot going on. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want to do something great. I don't want to just be this one-dimensional artist guy. I've, I've always had ambitions to go back to school, um, having a hard time finding the way to fund that. Um, but you know, there, there's definitely options for that, and uh, there's always a way, I guess. And this, this definitely seems like one though, that kind of checks a lot of boxes on the things that I feel like are missing in my life, such as more travel, seeing the world, understanding uh, things from a different perspective, learning new skills. Uh, I've always thought it'd be interesting to be um, more adept in engineering and things like that. Uh, so, so that's that's a possibility that's on the table right now. Uh, yeah, if you weren't aware, uh, the um, maximum age to join the military in the U.S. was just raised last year at the end of the year to 42. Uh, so. I got some time, but I'm not trying to wait because obviously I've, if that is the route, I've already waited quite a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I scored pretty damn high. Uh, I was quite proud of the score. I didn't think I did very good. So I actually think I could have done a lot better if I had maybe studied more or um, yeah, mainly just studied more so I could have possibly moved quicker. I remember there was one uh, question in the math section and I had the right answer, but like I just kind of like checked my work real quick and uh, I thought I had enough time because it doesn't give you the seconds. It just kind of tells you you have a minute left or whatever. Uh, and uh, and so I thought I didn't know how far along on that minute I was. And by the time I looked back up after checking my notes, uh, I'd timed out. So I was really mad that I didn't get that answer because I know I was right on that one. Um, but anyways, uh, 89 out of 99 is not a bad score. Uh, it actually would put me, from what I've looked at online, it would put me into just about any of the uh, jobs that I'd want. And a lot of those would be like in engineering or telecommunications and things like that. Uh, so, so I'm going to look into it. And I'm going to also see if uh, maybe that was good enough of a score to get into Space Force. Uh, but, oh bumps but that's a uh, that that may not be the deal because it's obviously a very new and thus small division uh, branch of the of the of the United States Armed Forces and I just think that would be really freaking cool though uh, who knows maybe it would be my my ticket to uh, to the moon or something right or get to uh, get to Mars get the hell off of this fucking planet <laughs> Not likely. I know that basically uh, I would be uh, I would be here on the ground, but it'd be interesting. 
I'd like to learn more about satellites and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, you know, maybe we'll talk about some of that too. Uh, I definitely want to have some uh, very scientific and philosophical discussions about math and science and all things pi once again, once, uh, once we all convene for the, the pie round table, uh, after we've eaten some pizza pie and some uh, apple pie or something like that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, looking forward to it. We've done it several times and it's always been a good time. It's always been one of my favorite events to do at the studio. And so it seems like a good way to kind of grand reopen and have our, uh, have our first shebang. So uh, hope to see you there if you're in the area. And uh, otherwise, aim high. This is Vincent Fink, signing out.